medication, uh, which is mainly for cardiac heart disease, uh, specialized for migraine. Uh, the source of our menu is from uh, IGN, and the pack is for lunch. Our menu is uh, the menu rice. Uh, for the scientist is the great source of food, and for the drink is from the great juice, and for the uh, dessert is banana muffin. Specified as HSP5. 
this is uh, as we know, uh, raisins is also a grape, which is a fruit. A fruit is halal, nevertheless, but it will become non halal if it is poisonous and causes the to body. Okay, after that, then, the next process is left the rice until cooked. This is because we afraid we need to ensure that the time and temperature for the rice uh, that we use to cook the rice is correct to avoid the rice to become undercooked or overcooked. Plating is considered as HCPC because the, it, the mixtures to make a plate uh, was afraid to uh, mix with other non halal uh, products such as animal's bone. This is because animal's bone, we uh, are not uh, sure about the source of the animals, what kind of animals that they use. Uh, and how they slaughter it, how they slaughter the animal, even if the animals is halal animals. Uh, so that's that's why we consider baking is basic six. Okay, moving to the next menu, which is uh, red sauce tofu. Uh, tofu is classified as uh, HCP one. Uh, if you listen to what Alia said uh, earlier. Uh, tofu uh, is the main ingredient, so uh, this need uh, to be uh, halal uh, as it can uh, affect uh, the whole process uh, for this menu. Uh, the tofu supplier need to get a halal certificate uh, from authorities. This is washing, uh, same just like uh, we washed the rice uh, earlier. Uh, the water uh, we use to wash uh, tofu need to be clean from any contaminations or hazards. Uh, for CP2 and CP3, uh, this step are uh, exactly the same because uh, we just uh, monitor the apparatus or equipment we use uh, in making uh, in making the process. Uh, for drain, uh, we need to make sure the tissue we use we use uh, is uh, clean and safe and only used once for each food. Uh, for cutting, uh, we need to use a uh, knife and cutting board uh, uh, and the apparatus need to be clean uh, and need to be separated from non-halal products. Uh, moving to the next which is seasoning, it is specified as HCP3, uh, oh, sorry, HCP2. Uh, the salt and pepper need to be, uh, we need to be selected. Uh, salt and pepper, uh, which have halal certificates uh, as uh, salt and pepper can contain uh, any other ingredients which is non halal. Uh, next is uh, air frying for 15 minutes. This is specified as control point 4 because uh, air frying uh, can uh, create harmful chemicals uh, that can harm, uh, that can bring harm to our body. However, uh, this, could, uh, this could be prevented uh, if we use air frying in certain control limit uh, temperature and if we follow the, uh, the manual given uh, by, the, uh, by the supplier of the air, fry, uh, air fryer. Uh, next, just like Alia said, uh, uh, put aside in a plate. So the plate uh, that we use in the process need to be uh, free from uh, any, any any suspicious ingredient that can cause uh, our food to be haram. Uh, just like uh, HCP before, uh, the explanation is just the same. Uh, next, uh, moving to the next, which is uh, steel fry with medium heat in pan. Uh, this is classified as HCP5. Uh, this is because we use red chili, chili oil and garlic. For the ingredients, uh, we, uh, we know that uh, the product is already halal as it eat plants but we need to make sure the process, uh, transportation, storage uh, in making uh, the products are uh, free from any contaminations or hazard uh, that can cause harm in the foods. Uh, okay, lastly, which is plenty, just like what Alia said earlier, uh, the ingredients in making the uh, in making the plate uh, need to be free from any products that can cause the plate to be harap. Yes. Okay, now, okay, moving on to pomegranate juice. Uh, as we all know, we label pomegranate as 
is if you want because pomegranate is the main ingredient to make this juice. Uh, we need to make sure pomegranate is uh, supplied from a trusted supplier and a supplier that has a certificate Shazaz Hakat certificate a certificate or halal certificate and then uh, as we all know uh, all plants are considered as halal uh, if uh, they are not contain any um, any harmful or toxic to our body so uh, we need to make sure that uh, the transportation process and storage process are not uh, contaminated with non-halal because as we all know if a pomegranate uh, we use is non-halal it will affect the whole processes of making pomegranate juice okay next which is washing we never washing as the one because we are using water uh, the water should be safe and clean from any toxic or any harmful things uh, and we need to make sure the uh, manufacturer of the water that we use is uh, certificate as halal next we move, uh, next we moving on to CP2 which is cutting and seeding we are using knife and cutting board uh, in these processes in these steps so we need to make sure the knife and cutting part is uh, clean from any uh, intoxicants. Next, uh, we label GC as CP3 because uh, we need to use a correct blending method and correct blend uh, blender to uh, make sure that the juice we produce are um, the best juice. GC, we're moving on to straining. Straining is level as CP4 because there's um, apparatus that we need to use which is strain, strain, strainer. We need to make sure that the strainer is clean and safe uh, too. Uh, and we need to make sure that the strain, the strainer that we use can separate the fruit pulps and juice um, perfectly. Uh, we're moving on to adding and mixing. We label it as HCP2 because we are adding and mixing the juice with water. As what I, I explained earlier, we need to make sure the water that we use are halal. Next, uh, the last uh, thing is plating. And plating is labeled as HCP3 because we also need to make sure the glass that we use to serve the juice is free from any materials that contain non-halal. Our last dish for the menu is banana muffin as a dessert. We label banana muffin as the HCP1 because we are going to take the banana muffin from supplier and we need to make sure that the banana muffin that the supplier supplied is actually for vegan. Uh, so we need to make sure the supplier is uh, uh, is only producing a vegan product because this menu is uh, special specifically for vegan and and as we all know vegan is considered as halal as long as it is not containing any toxic and it's not harmful to our body. Next, lastly. For plating and serving, it is as the same as the before. We need to make sure the plate that we use is clean from any uh, non-halal material. Thank you. One, two, three.